being safe during summer because we know that there's not only good weather and the need for the cool uh, opportunity to cool off, but there's recreation that takes place. And as you can see, we have the bikes, but that's not the only thing. They have the inline skating and the roller blading, and they have the skateboards. And the most important weapon to keep safe is what I have in my hand right here. This is my helmet. That's my bike. And although I'm not going to get a free ice cream cone because I'm not a, a 14 or under, but I am an adult and everybody should be wearing a helmet. And that's the message today with the 16th year of a program I'm very proud to partner with, public and private partnerships. And when I say public and private for these 16 years, I'm talking about uh, 10 law enforcement and police agencies. We had the Saratoga County Sheriff's uh, Organization who was represented here today, and I'm going to be introducing who that is shortly. But we also have uh, Ben and Jerry's, we have Stewart's, and uh, we have Terry Gray, who is the general manager from Friendly's. Those individual small businesses who sell a lot of ice creams have donated over 4,000 just this year free ice cream cone coupons. And here's what the essence of this public-private partnership is. They donate the coupons. We make what we call, and I'll show you an example, safe summer tickets. We give those to the police and law enforcement agencies. Our sheriffs, our police departments, all are going to have these in their vehicles as they travel around keeping us safe. And they're going to stop some of these kids, maybe many of them, who are wearing their helmet, and they're going to say, you're going to get a ticket today. But you're going to get a good ticket. You're going to be getting this ticket for obeying the law and for wearing your helmet. You see, all these kids, I just destroyed that. All these kids are obeying the law and wearing their helmet. And that's a good thing. But they're going to find some kids who are not wearing their helmet. And what they're going to ask them is, uh, do you have a helmet? And if they say they don't have a helmet, uh, we have Danny D'Agostino here today from Martin, Harding, and Mazzotti who last year started donating helmets. This year is also going to be donating hundreds of helmets to kids who cannot afford those helmets. So this is a dual program. Law enforcement officials will be stopping kids on bikes and saying, you're obeying the law, you're going to get this good ticket for a free ice cream cone, spread the word. We're not going to tell kids they're breaking the law. There's no way we're going to be arresting kids 14 or under for not wearing their helmet. Uh, that stick doesn't work, but the carrot does work. They travel across through the neighborhoods. In fact, many instances, uh, the police and law enforcement say they point to their helmet after the police trucks and cars drive by and say, look it, I got my helmet on. And uh, many times they'll stop and uh, they'll give them a, a free ice cream cone coupon. In fact, uh, one of the policemen told me he put his flashers on and he, he stopped a kid and pulled him over and the kid had, was wide open until he said, I'm going to give you a good ticket for, for a free ice cream cone because you're obeying the law. And that's the third part of this positive program, which I think has worked so effectively. Positive interaction between our law enforcement officials and the kids in our community. Many instances when our sheriffs and our police departments are stopping kids, it's for something they might have done a tawdry uh, in relationship to the law. Well, they're going to have some positive conversation with kids now, and that's a great opportunity for law enforcement to interact with the kids in our community. All right. This is the start. Ha, ha, ha.